hey Warcraft, I'm looking at Redder Model Studio. So when I wrote this program, I made a unit data parser, and it parses Warcraft unit data. And I wrote that parser uh, 10 years ago, in 2014, something like that. Anyway, you can see that uh, Reforge 2.0 broke it. So when you double click on Dragonhawk Rider, you just get this stream closed error, reading MDX failed. So if you're using like a really old version of Redder Model Studio, um, you can just go into Data Browser, War 3 W3 Mod Units, uh, click on Human, and click on Blood Elf Dragonhawk, and you can see the model file is still there, you can still load it. Um, obviously, we're just not finding it in the unit data parser. So I actually was looking at this, and there's a way I can fix my unit data parser. Uh, th there's a mode here, this is only on my computer, I just wrote this, so if you download the code, you don't have this yet. but probably after I publish this video, I'll publish this code somewhere. Um, there's basically a reforged mode. Um, you might have noticed this, actually, that this had a problem in the past with some of the HD stuff, but now they started using their modes in SD because, I don't know, Brad Chan felt like doing that, or maybe his, uh, his teammates felt like doing that. I don't really know why they're doing that. I think it's kind of pointless, but because they have this SD lookup mode, um, if I program that in to actually look for that, then you can double-click Dragonhawk Rider again, and it'll just load. So that's that's kind of just fine. Um, this is just a parsing thing. Uh, you might have seen this if you've ever looked at the unit data files that essentially um, these modes that I just put into my code, uh, it's like colon SD and colon HD, and I just had an off version I was using as an example for this video when I first started. Um, so obviously the flip side of that is that if you go to, like, even on old versions of Render Model Studio that have that essentially pretend the SD flag, but Actually, it was more like it was off because I hadn't invented it, and now I invented it. Um, we can go and we can say, okay, so what if I go to some kind of hero character? And you probably see this if you go to Preferences, and you click on Reforged Mode, and you click OK. Um, in the Reforged Mode, if you click on Campaign Settings, there are some of the heroes that are, you know, they're here, but maybe they don't actually look how they're supposed to look. So, for example... Um, what, like some of these, like, Kellen the Seeker characters, they're probably just, like, paladins or something, I don't know, in some cases, uh, oh, sorry, Kellen's the, uh, never mind, that's, uh, Blood, the, the, uh, Archmage, what am I saying, like, Dagger and the Orc Slayer, this is what I'm trying to say, I mean, is he using Paladin 2, or is he using the Dagger and the Orc Slayer model, and I'm just saying, I think sometimes Redder Model Studio was wrong about this, uh, you know what, Dagger and the Orc Slayer is unique enough, maybe he's fine, but I remember somebody commenting this on Kel'Thuzad, so if you look at Kel'Thuzad Lich, that's probably a better example, um, Kel'Thuzad Lich in Redder Model Studio, uh, in Reforged mode, is just loading, like, the normal Lich model. And I remember somebody looking at this, and they're telling me, like, well, it's really confusing and wrong, why is it doing that? So basically the reason Reforged is breaking now, and stuff like Dragonhawk Riders, is because there's, there's an HD subscript that was used to describe which models things load in HD. Um, and I was not parsing the subscript, so it was pretending everything was SD. And now they're using the SD subscript, so... You know, we could conceive of actually a control mode, maybe in settings or something. And I, I gotta figure out where to put that. Um, that if you actually make the HD mode and then you run this program again and you go into like Undead and we look at you know campaigns or something, and click on Kel'Thuzad Lich, you'll notice it'll have a different model now um, because we're using HD subscript instead, um, or not? Apparently not. Okay, so apparently that doesn't even work. Um, I don't actually know why that doesn't work. I find that kind of interesting. Um, Am I totally off base here that Kel'Thuzad and the Lich are not supposed to look the same in Reforged mode? Uh, you know what? That's kind of interesting. So obviously this gets back to, as a fallback from my really old unit data parser, if you go to the actual folder, you know, and you go and you find, here's the, the Reforged Kel'Thuzad model, right? Like, it's a completely different model. Um, he looks like, well, okay, obviously that one's a completely different model. You know what I mean. Um, Hero Lich cinematic mode. Kel'Thuzad. Wasn't there whatever is a Kel'Thuzad Lich model? I'm sure that existed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. This guy. Look at this guy. See, this is like Kel'Thuzad from World of Warcraft. He looks completely different. He's got these, like, spinning circular chains. So this subscript crap has given us trouble in Reforged 2.0 and how Redder Model Studio is written. That's really all I'm saying. And it's very interesting that apparently we're not somehow smart enough to... Uh, so, what, Kel'Thuzad Lich Cinematic is... No, that's also not using that model. Um, it's an interesting problem. You could imagine... There's other heroes who probably have the same problem. So, like, the Crypt Lord and Anubarak on Reforged mode are not supposed to look the same. But here I load the Crypt Lord, and he's green. And here I'm going to load Anubarak, and he's probably still going to be green. And that's wrong. You know, that's not actually a correct interpretation of the data. 
Um, I don't know, it actually did load the Anubarak model separately. So, I mean, maybe sometimes I'm doing it right, and I'm pretty sure if we have this subscript on SD, probably the Anubarak model will not load separately like that. It would just be both the same, both the green one. Um, so you would imagine there's there's area for improvement there, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if the Twilight fork of my code people were playing with, you know, if they already solved this problem. But you can see, obviously, in my the version that's on Hive, I didn't go and solve that problem. Um, I didn't really care that much. I just use a backup. But now people have to use backup for SD graphics, and that's annoying. So I'll probably put the default in. Oh, yeah, okay. So I guess even when we're on SD subscript here, it's still doing that, which is making me think that the subscript difference isn't maybe working very well. But um, I'm sure someone could investigate the reasoning behind that difference, and it's probably quite fixable where, you know, some of these characters are loading different files, and some are loading the same, and sometimes it's wrong, and sometimes it shouldn't be wrong. You know, it's like, is, uh, do we live in a world where, uh, you know, there's like a blood mage model, and then there's like a kale model, but if you go in SD, they look completely the same, and are just about the same file. So um, these are these are things that that have solutions, um, and it's just kind of from my perspective, it just seems like Microsoft being annoying. But um, anyway, for anybody who's like wondering how do you fix it, like if you want to fix it right now in the short term, just just go in the data. You know, like that Dragonhawk. Just just click on the Dragonhawk over here. If you want to fix it in the long term, you know, obviously you add some mode setting like I did, and apparently the mode setting still isn't even working totally correctly. Um, you know, I, I don't know exactly why that would be. Um, we could imagine some cases where, what, like Tyrande is supposed to have green hair while the hero version has blue hair, you know, and I doubt I do that right. Maybe I do do that right, really, even with the SD mode. So some of these things are independent file paths, probably even on SD, and you just couldn't tell because they were identical historically or something like that. But, um, anyway. Obviously, um, it's kind of all annoying, and it would be better uh, if it wasn't annoying, but it's clearly fixable. Um, maybe I'll publish this update I made, at least, you know, that makes it that if we go back to preferences and we click on classic mode and click OK, that, you know, at least you can load the Dragonhawk Rider. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could click on classic 2 and try to get, you know, what the HD5 Dragonhawk Rider something, but... I don't really know if that's even going to be any different. You know, it's like, is that any better? Probably not. It's probably not better, but who am I to say?